Hi and welcome to this bootcamp on launching an NFT. In this uh, series, uh, we're going to go ahead and mint an NFT and then launch it. So let's do the groundwork first. So first we create a folder called my NFT and CD to that folder and open VS Code. So the next step is to, while we're waiting for VS Code to launch, look at the steps that we're going to perform. So they're listed in this how to write and deploy an NFT bootcamp. So let's see, first it's a step one, connect to Ethereum network. So in this case, it's uh, suggesting that we use Alchemy. So over here, we have an Alchemy project. It's called Launch NFT, and we have an API key from here for that project. So we can go back to step two now. It says create an app. So in the app, we get an API key, so I did that already. And we have an API key right here. So in the next step, we uh, create an Ethereum account, which I've done also. Uh, and my Ethereum account on Robston Network, uh, or my MetaMask account, account has 0.29 ETH on the Robston network. So we can also top up the ether from the faucet if needed. Uh, for now, I think it should be good. We can check our balance uh, by sending a request using the Alchemy Composer. So we say send request and it comes back with this response. So in the next step, we can initialize our project. So we go ahead and open VS Code. Um, open a terminal inside VS Code. And inside the terminal, we can initialize the project. Uh, just waiting for this terminal to load. Okay, so once the terminal is loaded, we can initialize the project using npm init. And once that's done, we can uh, choose the defaults just to save time. and hit enter. To pick the defaults. And now we have a package JSON inside the my NFT folder. So now we can go to the next step and we can install hardhat so we say npm install dash save dev hardhat hat 
and that should install hardhat while we are waiting for it to install uh, let's pause and I'll see you on the other side and welcome back now that hardhat is installed we can continue so we go to the next step and we create our hardhat project so we'll say npx hard hat and that should initialize a config file So we're going to select create an empty hard hat config JS and that can creates the config file. Now in the next step we're going to add contracts and scripts folders. And in the next step, we're going to write the contract. So we need Open Zeppelin, Open Zeppelin for the contract, and we'll have to install it using npm. So we can install Open Zeppelin like so. NPM install open Zeppelin contracts and while we're waiting for that to install we can wait and I'll see on the other side and we're back so open Zeppelin is now installed and we can write our contracts now so we select the contract for minting an NFT and we create the Solidity contract and we're going to call it mynft.sol And in that my nft.sol file, we can add the minting code for minting of NFTs. And that looks like this. So we save the file. And in the next step, we can go ahead and connect to MetaMask and Alchemy so uh, we can use the dot env project or the dot env package to connect to 
MetaMask. So we can run npx npm install dot env dash dash save and we'll be back on the other side of that. And we're back so dot env is now installed so we can create a file called dot env and in that file we can have our API key as well as the private key that we need to connect to our MetaMask and to the contract. So if we go back to VS Code, we can paste the API key and the private key in there. And I'll copy the API key from Alchemy over here. And And we have the API URL now, and we're going to add the private key. So for the private key, it is considered sensitive. So I'm going to do that offline. And now I have the API key and the private key in my .n file. And, um, I'm going to go ahead and go to the next step. And in this step, we're going to install ethers. So let's say npm install dash dash save dev ethers. And we'll be back on the other side of that. And uh, Ethers is now installed. So we're going to update the hard hat config. And in the hard hat config, we just need a reference to the API URL and the private key. So we have our hard hat config here. And in the hard hat config, we're going to We're going to 
change the module exports to look like this and we can get rid of the old module exports and save that and in the next step we can go ahead and compile our contract So while that's compiling, we'll take a break and see you on the other side. And we're back and the hard hat compile has completed. So now we're going to go ahead and deploy our contract. So we'll have to write a deploy script. So in our scripts folder, we can create a deploy.js file and we can paste the contents of the deploy script in the deploy.js file and that just mints the NFT. So we go ahead and run the deploy script to deploy it. So we can say npm hard hat deploy. So let's go ahead and do that. and we'll be back on the other side of that and we're back and as we can see the contract has deployed so the smart contract should be over here and just to double check that we could go to the ether scan and scan to see that smart contract so i'll go over here uh, look under etherscan transaction in Robston and hopefully the contract should be there and yeah that's the contract over there so that concludes our part one of this boot camp on deploying an NFT now we can also see the uh, deployment on alchemy so that should be available on alchemy explorer and yeah that's the contract address right there and uh, it looks like it's deployed correctly so that concludes part one thanks for watching see you in part two